In a groundbreaking achievement, the first operational model of Strata launches Talon, a reusable hypersonic vehicle, has completed a successful captive carry flight beneath the wings of the rock. Strata launches colossal aircraft, the largest ever to take flight. Notably, Strata launches collaboration with the U.S. military focuses on developing a target system to simulate hypersonic threats, facilitating the advancement of defensive capabilities. The Talon A, which played a pivotal role in this recent test, is poised to serve as the foundation for further developments, possibly spawning a Talon A derivative or incorporating its cutting-edge technology into future projects. Beyond its military applications, Strata Launch envisions broader horizons for the Talon A concept, contemplating the exploration of larger variants and even delving into the realm of space planes, marking a significant stride toward the future of aerospace technology. Strata launch on Sunday, December 3 completed a captive carry flight with the first powered Talon A hypersonic vehicle, or TA-1, in Southern California. This was the 12th flight for the rock launch platform, and the Talon A was filled with live liquid oxygen Velox, fuel for its rocket engine. The flight lasted 3 hours and 22 minutes. According to Strata launch, this is a significant step forward in the company's near-term goal of completing powered flight with the Talon A vehicle. Talonet is a reusable, uncrewed vehicle with various modular payload spaces to support different flight test activities. While hypersonic speed is usually defined as anything above Mach 5, the Talonet is expected to be able to reach speeds of at least Mach 6. The vehicle is 28 feet long and has a wingspan of just over 11 feet. The main objective of yesterday's captive carry flight was to evaluate the Talonet's propulsion system in different portions of the flight regime and at different temperatures although the engine wasn't actually ignited at any point. Additionally, data was gathered on the telemetry systems in the ROC and TA-1. These will ensure situational awareness during the release process, once the first powered free flight is achieved. Talon A's propulsion system supports a liquid propellant rocket engine that provides the thrust needed for Talon A to reach hypersonic speeds. While we have conducted several successful ground tests fueling and igniting the system, we needed to evaluate how the system performs in the flight environment prior to release," explained Dr. Zachary Kriver, Chief Executive Officer for Stratolaunch, in an official media release. Initial results from today's flight show that the system has performed as predicted, and we will determine our next steps pending the full data review of the test. A previous release of the Talon T0 test vehicle took place in May this year, although it was unpowered. This meant the vehicle was only able to perform certain glider-type maneuvers and send telemetry data. The test launch of the T-0 Talon was conducted at an altitude of 21,650 feet, and the flight on December 3 was also conducted mostly at an altitude of about 22,500 feet, thus indicating that the TA-1's first powered launch would also be from that altitude. It will take place at Vandenberg Space Force Base's western range off the central coast of California, and a 5,000-pound Hadley rocket engine will boost it to hypersonic speeds for several minutes. Stratolaunch CEO and President Zachary Krever said that the test on Sunday, December 3, could continue with a powered launch, although that depends on the data collected. If it's not enough, there will be one more captive carry flight. While the Talon TA-1 currently retains its status as expendable, marking a crucial step in hypersonic vehicle development. Stratolaunch has revealed ambitious plans for the TA-2 and TA-3 iterations, both of which are in active construction and slated to be fully reusable. A noteworthy departure from the expendable nature of TA-1, these forthcoming vehicles are poised to revolutionize the field with their ability to be recovered and relaunched. Equipped with tricycle landing gear, TA-2 and TA-3 will possess the capability to execute conventional landings on the runway at Vandenberg Space Force, following their hypersonic flights. This strategic shift towards reusability not only signifies technological advancements but also underscores Stratolaunch's commitment to pushing the boundaries of aerospace innovation and sustainability. The Missile Defense Agency MDA, has signed a contract with Stratolaunch that will see the company provide it with a threat representative and threat replicating target that allows them to understand how to engage and intercept hypersonic threats. The MDA deal parallels a shift within Stratolaunch, which has seen the company increasingly focus on hypersonic testing support rather than space launch.
The proliferation of hypersonic weapons presents significant challenges for defenders in terms of detecting and tracking incoming threats, as well as attempting to intercept them. Harnessing strata launches technologies and experience should help the MBA test new sensors and interceptors against representative targets. More generally, there has been an explosion in demand for hypersonic testing capacity within the U.S. military, something that has also been reflected by the efforts to re-roll retired RQ-4 Global Hawks as Range Hawks under the Sky Range Hypersonic Weapon Testing Infrastructure Program. In the meantime, other U.S. military agencies have expressed an interest in the Talonay specifically. Last week, Stratolaunch announced a contract award from Litos, the prime contractor for the U.S. Navy's Multi-Service Advanced Capability Testbed MHCHTB program. Under that contract, there will be five Talon A hypersonic flights with optional payloads, with funding provided by the Naval Surface Warfare Center via the Strategic and Spectrum Missions Advanced Resilient Trusted Systems Other Transaction Agreement. The MHCHTB program focuses on hypersonic flight testing using robust, agile, and modular approaches, Stratolaunch said at the time. The latest-led team intends to deliver an affordable solution, leveraging commercial launch vehicles, including Stratolaunch's Talon A hypersonic vehicle, for flight testing hypersonic payloads. The data collected is designed to provide insight to the DoD on technology improvement and capability validation. Early affordable and regular hypersonic flight testing is key to robust and successful developments of hypersonic capabilities. In October, Stratolaunch announced another contract, this time with the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory ADFRL, to support the first flight test of TA-3, the second reusable Talon A hypersonic test vehicle. This follows an earlier contract in which AFRL will support the first flight of TA-1. According to Crevor, at least some of the MACHTB flights will occur next year. However, they won't necessarily use the ROC as the launch platform. With Stratolaunch having acquired the former Virgin Orbit Boeing 747-400, it will be able to offer hypersonic launch test missions over the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, with the 747 operating from the East Coast and the ROC remaining on the West Coast. While the Talon A is primarily a high-speed flight test platform, Strato Launch has more ambitious related vehicles in the works. These better reflect the firm's original focus on space launch services, in which the ROC serves as a mothership for air launching various expendable and reusable vehicles to put payloads into space. Proposed vehicles include the Talon Plus, which follows a similar design to the Talon A, but which is larger with upturned wingtips. There's also an even bigger and more spaceplane-like design, previously known as Black Ice, which could be configured to carry cargo and possibly even passengers, 